All right, in this example, we're told that to save for retirement, we decide to deposit $100 at the end of each month. Let me pop that down there. In an IRA that pays 5.5% compounded monthly. So the payments we're making are $100. The rate is 5.5% and it's compounded monthly. How much will we have from the IRA after 30 years? So the amount of time going by is 30 years. Okay, so the formula we have to use here is that the amount in a retirement account like this is the payments we're making at the end of each month, Ooh, sorry, formula, not the numbers yet, the payments we're making times all of this, that's why I'm using a bracket here, so we don't get confused with the parentheses, one plus the rate divided by the number of compounds raised to the number of compounds times time. All this with the exponent minus one. And then all of that divided by the rate divided by the number of compounds. So this is a bit of a beast of a formula. But all it's saying is that you take the payment you're making each time, multiply it by this stuff in here, which is the rate over the number of compounds raised to the number of compounds times time, minus one and then divide that by the rate divided by the number of compounds. So we have all of that right here. So all we have to do is plug this in and solve. So the, the payment amount we're making at the end of each month is $100. One plus, now whenever I use a percentage in these formula, it needs to be a decimal. So take this decimal two hops to the left, and we get 0 0.055 over 12, because it's compounded monthly, raised to the 12 times 30, all that minus 1, all that divided by 0 0.055 divided by 12. Now, because this is so large, you're going to need to be really careful with your parentheses when you put this in the calculator. I'm going to be doing it in one go, but if you want to do individual pieces and write them down as you go, that's perfectly fine. Like if you just did this and then put it in there and started doing it. But I'll do it all in one go. So if we do that, I'm going to do 100 times. So I'm opening parentheses, opening parentheses again, 1 plus 0 0.055 divided by 12. Close these parentheses. This raised to, now whenever I have multiple things in a power here, I use parentheses even if I don't need them because I'm just trying to be really careful that nothing gets confused in the calculator. So parentheses, 12 times 30. Close these parentheses. And if you're using one of the newer calculators, you'll have to press right so that the cursor up here hops down here. Minus 1. Now finally, I close these parentheses on top. And I'm going to divide all of this by, make sure to use parentheses here, 0 0.055 divided by 12, close the parenthesis. Whew. So after all that, hit enter, and you should be getting $91,361. And remember to round to the nearest dollar. That's what we're told to do. So 91361.1, let me write down everything, 8925. So if I round that to the nearest dollar, that's 91000 $361. And there we go. If we make monthly payments of $100 every month for 30 years in an interest, uh, in an account that has a 5.5% interest rate, then finally at the end of all that, we should have $91,361 in that account. And that is this example.